two guys in the bathroom with a camera. Nothing weird about that. Nope. <laughs> and then there's Pete. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Investment Properties for Sales show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. And the first of the two properties I've got for you today, I got a single family and then I got a duplex. Let's get into the single family first. 4671 East 86 Garfield Heights 44125. Now, First thing you're going to notice uh, from our footage is all the snow and the grass. Uh, we had filmed this, right? Uh, but this is a city that has a, a point of sale requirement, right? Uh, for everybody out there who might be new to the show or never heard of point of sale, uh, you might be new to the Cleveland market. That's something that's very common in a lot of the suburbs in the Cleveland market. Not the specific city of Cleveland itself. They don't have point of sale requirements, but a lot of the suburbs do. So in the show notes below, I've got the video that explains the point of sale process here in Cleveland. Because if you're going to be investing in this market, uh, you're going to be dealing with that quite a bit. So check that out for more info there and then come back to this show. Okay, hit pause or something, right? Now, we're coming out of COVID-19, right? All the COVID stuff. So it actually took us forever to get the city to finally give us the point of sale inspection report. It took forever to get that. We've been waiting to release this video to you guys and uh, launch this property for sale until we got all our information. So because uh, of COVID-19, you know, a lot of things were shut down, but that is done right now. So we finally got everything ready for you guys. And that point of sale, let's just talk about it real quick. Let me pull that up on the the screen as a matter of fact it's pretty much nothing okay just teeny tiny little stuff it's crazy that uh it took that long to get it but clean garage siding and gutters resecure any loose soffit panels just other tiny teeny weeny little stuff okay and we got a bid for you to do that holton wise will handle all of that for you guys here it is, okay, all it's going to cost is $1,290. So the property is a 4-2, little, little brick bungalow. I got it listed, $54,900, and you guys are going to uh, need to assume that POS, and then my team will do it for you. It's going to be $1,290. That's an exact bid, right? Then you're totally POS compliant. Now, as far as the property itself, right, market rent. We can max this sucker out at 1050 That's a best-case scenario. I would also like to go with the Section 8 program to get that rent. Now, here's the thing. We could do this a couple different ways. We could, guys, if you guys want, we could go ahead and more or less do almost nothing. We're going to do the POS, and then my guys will get in there, you know, check things out, make sure there's uh, no missing smoke detectors, this or that. Just minor, minor stuff, dude. Just minor stuff. It's almost rent ready. Just a few minor things we'll probably notice, or like when the home inspector goes in there, we'll probably see a few things there. Just minor stuff. We can go ahead and rent the house out. But if we do it without doing any cosmetic improvements, the house is not going to rent for over $1,000 a month. It's going to be probably somewhere in the $900 range, right? If you really want to max it out, get the house to rent for over $1,000 a month. You know, best case scenario, I'm thinking about $1,050. Want to do it through the Section 8 program, really get people excited. You're going to need to do some cosmetic reno, guys. And I would anticipate spending almost $10,000, around $10,000 to do that. Because this kitchen, man... This is just a dated kitchen, right? Kitchens and baths are what sell homes, guys. We need to really update the kitchens and the baths. So I highly recommend some premium upgrades. So what my team would do for you, uh, we can give you, after they go in, after you purchase the property, they can do the safety checkup, check everything out, make sure no uh, <clears throat> windows. You know, you got to open and close the window. You don't know this where you're sticking a stick in there to get the window to stay open. Checking all the smoke detectors, checking all the carbon monoxide detectors, making sure the locks are fresh, new, uh, all that jazz, right? They'll go in, they'll give you the bid for that, super minor stuff, but they'll also give you a bid to do premium cosmetic upgrades, which is what I really recommend you do on this particular property. If you want to max out that rent, if you want to minimize your vacancy if you want to get those section 8 tenants that are going to stay in the property for years to come what you need to do is you need to provide them a nice 
modern looking property updated kitchens and baths guys that's what sells homes that's what rent homes right is this property feasible doable livable yes absolutely will we eventually get a tenant yes but they will not be paying the maximum and they will probably not be in love with the home i'm sure they're only going to live there till something better pops up so it's up to you but my advice is to get the premium upgrades because you will make more money over the long haul. So if you're interested in picking this particular property up, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. You can pick it up cash. You could also pick it up uh, on financing. We're not one of those companies that requires you to pay cash. As a matter of fact, I don't think you should pay cash. There's really no reason to pay cash. Let's leverage your funds. Let's have you only put down 25% and have the bank loan you the other 75%. And if you do not have your own lender, you don't have a lender, let my team know. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Hey, I'm interested in purchasing some properties from you guys. I want to talk to your lenders. I have lenders who will do loans nationwide and worldwide. I've got lenders who will do loans to foreign nationals, and I've got lenders who will do 30-year fixed interest, low interest loans to Americans living in any of the 50 states. So ask my team for our list of lenders. We'll get that to you, of course, free of charge. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Once you've got a pre-approval letter or your proof of funds ready, send us an email, make an offer, get started investing. Now, we got to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, then we're going to get into the second property I've got for you, which is a duplex. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reap has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reap is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. All right, folks, welcome back. The next property, 10411 Jasper, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Fully occupied duplex. 79.9. Now, don't get too excited about the fact that it's fully occupied and the fact that I priced it at only 79.9, okay? Uh, the upstairs, that's two beds, one bath. That tenant's paying 635. The down, they're paying 575, all right? That upstairs tenant, that's what we're all about here at Alton Wise, right? Our biggest thing, okay, at Holton Wise, it's transparency. Showing you guys exactly what's going down, giving you guys proper expectations. We're not the kind of people that are going to try to fluff you. We ain't going to try to tell you there's never going to be problems. But what we do is we give you a full transparent look at the real estate investment industry. If you don't believe me, check out that Tennis from Hell show. And, uh, you know, I think the content speaks for itself. But to that note, right, transparency. A lot of people, they probably wouldn't want to tell you this, uh, but that's what we do here. We have reason to believe that the tenant upstairs, uh, they may or may not be moving out. We, we, we think they're probably going to move out in uh, July or August. Uh, we've been notified of that. So I can't tell you for a fact that they're going to move out. But if I were you, when I'm running my numbers trying to analyze if I want to make this investment or not, I would anticipate when you eventually close within the next month or two, that tenant is probably going to be gone and you're probably going to need to redo their unit. Now, looking at the footage, the unit don't look bad or anything like that. It's not like a, a super major overhaul is needed. But what you have to understand, guys, 
is there is no scenario where a tenant moves out of these properties and you just like send a fucking vacuum in there and you're good to go. It don't work that way. You're going to spend a few grand, right? Well, my team goes in there when that tenant does move out. We'll go ahead and we'll give you a bid, a line by line bid. We'll give you two options, right? Just like we we're talking about on the previous property. We'll give you the minimum, right? The minimum renovation costs. Uh, which is going to meet our minimum rental standards, okay? Or we'll give you that with the premium upgrades, which is, you know, increased, uh, you know, design and look and finishes in the kitchens and the baths, right? For this particular unit, I would imagine you're going to be anywhere between four and like $8,000, depending on the finishes and what you get. But what you'd be able to do out of that unit is get yourself seven fifty in rent. Now the other unit currently bringing in five seventy five. We have no reason to believe that tenant's going anywhere anytime soon. Of course, they're tenants. We cannot predict their behavior exactly, so they could come and go at any time. But we don't think anything specific is happening there. They're paying five seventy five. But you should know eventually when they do move out, we should be able to increase that rent up to 650 if we had premium upgrades in that unit. So long term, this particular property has the potential to bring in 1400. Currently right now, it's bringing in 1210. Now, that's a ton, a ton of cash flow, guys. For 79.9, I mean, you know, I'm sure you guys are looking at the market. There's not that many duplexes in nice neighborhoods like this. You know, it's a solid C-class neighborhood. 44111. We have hundreds of properties like this in our portfolio. These are solid earners. Let's just cruise down to the basement too, guys, right? As far as our furnaces, look at that beautiful newer furnace. That thing's like probably five years old or less. And then we do have an older one, 30 years. So when you guys get an inspection, because again, transparency guys that's what it's all about transparency a lot of people that watch the show are new investors this is their first foray to a new investment let me explain this to you okay because i don't want to sell you a property unless you get a third-party home inspection i don't want you watching my videos and being like yeah let's do it no no no. this is step one i give you as much information but i want you to hire your own third-party home inspector to go in this property so you understand exactly what you're getting and when you do that they're going to tell you that one furnace, they're going to say that furnace has passed its useful life, recommend an HVAC technician take a look. Let me cut through to BS. You don't need to have an HVAC technician take a look at that furnace because what that means, guys, furnaces, they last roughly 30 years, okay? After about 30 years, it's time to replace them. The cost to replace a furnace is going to be about $3,000. So you don't need to have an H you don't need to pay an HVAC guy to look at that furnace to tell you, yeah, it works right now. When it stops working, you should just replace it because it's on its last legs. I just told you that, right? Because that's what you need to know. So no, more or less, I would guesstimate, you know, in the coming years, that furnace is probably going to take a poop and you're going to probably have to spend $3,000 to replace it. Is it going to go down next year? Is it going to go down two years from now? Is it going to go down four years from now? I don't know. I can't tell you, right? I've seen furnaces last 40, 50 years before, but on average, 30 years is a reasonable expectation. So no, you're on borrowed time. The other one, you got about another 25 years. Shouldn't have to worry about it. Both those hot water tanks, one's about five years old. The other one's even newer than that. They look good. Uh, cruising over to the electric panels nice updated electric panels and our roof it's about 15 20 years old so we should have 10 to 15 years of life left in our roof so when you're budgeting for your capital expenditures going forward no in the next 10 to 15 years you're going to probably need to spend about 7k on that roof that's what we do guys we give you full transparent information on all these properties because you ain't gonna buy any perfect properties there is no such thing as a perfect property and if there was it'd be a new build it wouldn't be a property for 80 grand that could bring in 1400 bucks a month in rent right the cash flow speaks for itself uh so this particular property i anticipate having a bunch of offers probably multiple offers on day one the day this video goes out on holton wise tv so if you're one of those guys or gals out there that wants to buy this one send my team an email sales at holtonwise.com Proof of funds or pre-approvals are needed when you submit your offer. Again, I anticipate having probably, you know, probably 10, 20 offers on this particular property with the numbers here. So if you want to pay cash, great. I need to see your bank account. You can black out your name and your account number. If you want to use a loan, even better because that way you can buy four times as many properties. That's the 
number one reason you should be investing in real estate, guys. You can't get 30-year low-interest, low-fixed-interest loans to open up a bar or a hair salon and shit, man. <laughs> Just coming out of COVID, I wouldn't want to be in the bar or uh, hair industry right now anyway, right? But to do those kind of businesses, you can't get financing like this. You can get that type of financing with real estate investing, which is why I have chosen to make that the vehicle that I've invested all my funds in, and it's done rather well for me. So if you have a lender, great. If you don't have a lender, my team will give you a lender. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Ask for our list of lenders. When they pre-approve, you shoot us your pre-approval with, uh, with your offer. And if the property's still available, boom, we'll get you set up. If not, if you're too late, if one of the other investors who's already got all those steps taken care of takes this one down, that's totally fine, guys, because here on the Investment Properties for Sales show, every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're emailing you another show with another set of investment properties that you can purchase. So make sure you are subscribed to our mailing list as well as the YouTube channel. All right, folks, that's all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.